for EA Sports. We're in the city that some call the center of the hockey universe. We're in Toronto, and the Maple Leafs are ready to roll. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Leafs win the opening faceoff, and we are underway with this one. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. That's gloved by Morazic. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a faceoff. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Toronto's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Penalty coming up here as the official's all over that slash. Let's get the official decision. That's going to be a slashing call. Anytime you come over the top or you hit the equipment and the ref is there, you're going to get a two-minute penalty. Chicago's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Nyes carries the puck in his own zone. Holmberg's got it along the wing. Just gets enough to keep it out. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Big time stop there. Attacking in. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Slides it across. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Oh, and here's the pass. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Kurashev's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Off the draw, they take possession. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Oh, he made the pass in the back of the net. Toronto's come to play. Look at that, a quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James, and that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the floor check, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Moves it to Tavares. Puts it on there, and he was ready for that save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Leafs have taken a 1-0 lead. Toronto's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he takes the feed. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck to Tanev. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Drives it to the crease. And he's peeling off to regroup. Felino's got it in the defensive end. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Here's the chance to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Tavares works the puck in his own zone. Passes it over. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Slides the puck down low. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Taken along the wall by Dewar. In close! Oh, what a stop by Mrazek! Picked up along the boards by Kaiser. Chicago's in now. Oh, there's a great stop by Stolarz! Stop up, stop up! Lorenz takes the puck. And he slides it quickly to Timmins. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Goes right to the crease! The blocker saved by Rasek! He's got such a great set of hands, and he displays such patience. 
positions. I mean, he makes his opponent move first, and that's exactly what he wants to manipulate them and create space for himself. He gets to the net, and the goaltender makes a huge save. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. With some open space at center. Swap up. And the puck skips away after that move. Nylander's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one, and the puck dies on his stick. Cross-ice pass to Riley. And now he tries to get it across to Nyes. Denies him on the play. Grabbed along the boards by Domi. And the puck's not loose. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Tying seconds, and he makes the save. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather, and we'll come back with period number two in moments. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. Toronto sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Makes the save on the slapper. And the puck's thrown it away. And that's stolen by Riley. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Quick feed to Marner. Oh, what a save by Brasic. And he loses control here. Shot! Oh, to Mason with the paddle save! On their heels, trying to get it out of the road end. And that's just out of reach. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gets in front of it. Takes the feed from his netminder. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Goalie with a stop. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. The Leafs lead here in this second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Domi's won the draw, and they're on the attack. The Leafs run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Really like that power play sequence, James. The way they were moving puck and controlling the play, they came up to a hot goaltender. Uses the force on that hit. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Slides the puck over. Looks to set up at the point now. Makes the save with the topper. Morazic has been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. And it's kicked away. Rocked him in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Domi. And that's knocked away by Felino. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Picked up along the wall by Hall. And that shot dies in traffic. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. The Leafs have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. The guards won it in their own end. The Leafs have it now. Curves it with the glove. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Leafs lead it 1-0. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and 
Here we go. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, what a save in front. Morazic's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. Denies him in close. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Makes his presence known on the ice. Shuts him down. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Patience personified right there, James. The shooter knows that they need to wait for the lane to open up, but they also have the presence of mind to wait for the screen. You know, if the goalie can't see it, they've got a better chance of putting it in. The Leafs have extended their lead to two here in the second, and, I mean, at this rate, they're probably due for more, Cheryl. They've been dancing out there, James, and they've been manipulating their opponent all over the ice, and they've had a handle on the possession, and they've been getting a lot of opportunities, and it's a reason why they're up by a few goals. Across the line. Shot. Tremendous stop by Brasic. And he's ridden off the puck. Battle along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Quick pass to Reichel. Sends it into the offensive zone. Riley's stick handling in his own zone. Acampa's got it along the boards. And that's off a stick. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Mrazek. In the final moments of this period, Toronto's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Carries it in. Moves it quickly over to Polino. Goaltender covers that. We got a stoppage in play. Toronto's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shots. They continue to lead late in the second. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Scooped into the trapper by Stolarz. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Leafs win the draw. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Hey fans, we have a car in each lot with its lights on. FSB 4494. Welcome back. She's Shell Pounder. I'm James Sabalski, and we are ready to bring you period number three. Here we go. Period number three is now underway. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Chicago's got to switch the momentum here in the third period. That's through the first 40 minutes. I felt like they were flat. They're lucky that this game is still close because their feet really weren't under them. If they can play urgent in these final 20 minutes and get some good shot selections and cash in on one of them, they're going to build momentum and have an opportunity at this game. Tavares moves the puck. Feeds it on over to Riley. And that pass is redirected. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tara Heinen. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Riley's taking it from his own end. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. He scores! Great hands, 
James, the way the puck moves on his stick, it's like on a string, but it's also his awareness, the way he scans and how he knows how to manipulate and create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net, and then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. The Leafs continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Dishes it off! Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. And now he moves it quickly to Hall. Good shot, frees the puck up. Taken along the wall by Domi. Moves it to Nyes. Knocks the puck loose. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Chicago's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Hall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the puck. Hammers it on net. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Takes it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Minton. Gaining steam here on the attack. Feeds it over on the rush. Takes the feed at the point. Now you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Throws it in. The Leafs gain possession. McCabe's lugging the puck. Gaining momentum up along the side. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Denies him with the save. Toronto staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash it. You're feeling it. You love it. And you're going to share it. Scrum along the wall. Quick pass to Dewar. Denies him in front. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Well, that's going to be an interference call, and it's a deserved one. You can't impede the forward progress of your opponent, and that's what happens here. The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Chicago's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. From the left side, takes it at center. And there's the whistle icing the call. Dickinson's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Tavares. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Tries to get the puck over to Tara Vinen. They go on the attack from the left side. Oh, jumps right over the boards. Well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out back to your side. Makes it look easy with the stop. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Maroon's penalty is almost expired. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Turns him away! Well, that power play wasn't very good, James. It's really slow and methodical, an easy read for the PK unit. You gotta fight to find something in the middle ice and get some shots on that. The Leafs have definitely used the shoot-first mentality and look at the score here late. And that pass goes off a stick. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Denies that opportunity. Too much congestion in front. And he puts that one aside with ease. Jones has it in the defensive end. Moves it to Kaiser. They've got numbers. Sends it over. And he could, I thought he had it, but they're, they're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. Well, he's been 
game changer tonight, James. He has been so strong in his crease, but that's going to be disappointing for him. You know, anytime you're riding a wave like that, you want to get the goose egg, and this time it's not going to happen. tonight lots of chances and they lead it late in this third and off the face off they take possession shakes off the defender with some nifty moves Toronto's looking to break out of their own end in need of a goal the extra attackers out on the ice and as the final seconds kick off they score incredible passer James I mean he's got IQ and awareness so he knows where he wants to put the puck so he's one step ahead of everyone but then it's all about your delivery you have to give a pass that someone can receive so the perfect time you heard the temperature you want to make sure that it's flat it's crisp but he seems to do it every single time the Leafs are in the home stretch of this one leading big time in the third Bedard's quick stick lands from the puck here at center and smacks the puck out of midair. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. There's the hole, and that's the hockey game. Toronto's puck pursuit tonight was on another level here, Cheryl. It really was, and also their shot selection. What I mean by that is they didn't get any or very many blocks, and that's really disguising your shot and knowing exactly how to open up the lanes. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between a fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.